What's up everyone, it's Everest Awake, and we're here to discuss the brand new Pokemon game that was just announced on February 27th, 2024, on Pokemon Day, Pokemon Legends ZA. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and ding that notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos on the channel. We thought we were going to be getting a Gen 5 game, a new remake of Unova. But instead, Pokemon surprised us with a brand new Pokemon Legends title, Pokemon ZA. Pokemon has released that that game is based in Kalos, which is France in the real world. But most recently, they have verified that it is entirely based inside of Lumio City, which is real world of Paris. If we compare this to a game like Grand Theft Auto, where you have one city that you have access to every street, every alleyway, every avenue, there is a lot to explore inside one city. Lumio City, however, appears to be just a closed off circle. And with these new renderings we've seen, there's only one entrance and one exit, which appears to be Route 14. And what is on the other side of Route 14? Well, we've got Laver City and of course, the Pokeball Factory, where all of the Pokeballs in Kalos region are made. Back in Haisui, we don't have any Pokemon Centers, we don't have any Pokemarts, we don't have any Pokemon Gyms, and we don't have a Pokemon League. We are starting off the bare bones of just learning how to catch Pokemon for the first time. These Pokeballs that we have are all new, and we actually have to have them made. We don't have these Pokeballs that we have in the future or the modern world. While we do see all these different aspects inside the renderings and drawings of these blueprints of the Lumios redevelopment project, we aren't sure which one it is talking about. Maybe we're talking about two separate things. Maybe we're talking about the past redevelopment project to bring it up to where it was like Houseman did in 1853 to 1870. Maybe we're looking at it as a new futuristic development. There is also one other thing in doing some research that I have noticed. One thing is, in the Pokemon anime, the Lumios Museum looks pretty old. It looks like it's an original building, you know, that would have been around in the early to mid 1800s. It could have been built back then in the original redevelopment program. But then if we take a look at Pokemon Adventures, the manga, we see a much more modern style museum. And that could allude as well to this being a transitional period. Maybe where we are currently in the modern world where X and Y took place a few years back is what we know for X and Y. But Pokemon Legends ZA is going to be based in the past and possibly in the future. If we take a closer look into the video, you can see that there is a couple of new modern looking buildings inside the rendered portion, inside the blue Tron-like renders. We do see a tall building that has a Pokeball on it. We do see a couple other things like these street lights that are actually hanging down rather than just sitting up. While there are still some on the bridge that are pointing up that look like they would be street lamps that could have been oil lamps, the other ones do not appear to be like that. They appear to be actual city lights pointing downwards, which was not available during that time of 1853 to 1870 when the redevelopment project from Houseman would have taken place. We know that we're getting a few things that we have long awaited for, like Mega Evolution coming back thanks to that little snippet at the end giving us that little insight to hey don't worry guys it's gonna be there but that also was something new mega evolution was something that was an ongoing development and research through X and Y that was something that we had to discover the fact that we have confirmed now that we are going to have Pokemon mega evolutions back in Pokemon Legends ZA is hard to believe that we're just gonna be in the past in Lumio City because if we were in the past, we wouldn't be able to have these mega evolutions, which in the X and Y era, we actually have Professor Sycamore telling us this is a newly discovered evolution and that we need these stones and we need to find these stones in order to evolve these Pokemon into their mega forms. This wouldn't be possible in the past because we did not know about this technology. We did not know about these mega stones. And this brings us to the starters. 
because not all Pokemon in the Kalos region did get a Mega Evolution. That includes Fennekin, Froakie, and Chespin, the three starters of the region. None of their final forms got a Mega Evolution. So while we might see what we did in Legends Arceus of Pokemon getting a regional variant like we have since Sun and Moon, that has happened quite a bit, we may see that again in this Pokemon Legends ZA. Or, as speculated, because of a few months ago there was a trailer released again with Cyndaquil partnered up with Torchic, with Snivy partnered up with Rowlet, and with Oshawott partnered up with Piplup. Now, all of these three Pokemon stated all have a relation to France. The national animal of France is the rooster, which we know is the Torchic line. We know that Snivy, Servine, and Superior have been confirmed from Ken Sugimori as being based upon the royal French family. And we also know that the Piplup and Napoleon line, that Napoleon is actually completely based off of Napoleon Bonaparte. They are even the same height. This has all been confirmed from Pokemon before, and these are three strong French ties that could be there. However, Mega Blaziken is a Pokemon that does exist. And while there is no Mega Empoleon and no Mega Superior, we might have a different Pokemon as the Firestarter because of these ones not having Mega Evolutions. If we're trying to negate the Pokemon that have had Mega Evolutions before, then that would not be included. We would take Blaziken off just like we took Charizard off because of course there's two variations of Charizard for the Mega Evolutions. There's probably gonna be a third, but we will get into that later. Right now we're talking about what might be that Firestarter if it is not Torchic. If we look back, about 600 ADs, French monks were known for domesticating rabbits, wild rabbits to use for an alternative for food. What Pokemon could possibly be subbed in here to the fire starter if we're talking about rabbits? Of course, it would be Scorbunny, which also has a strong tie with France because Scorbunny is a soccer playing rabbit, football for our European friends. And what was Introduced in the 1800s, the late 1850s, to France, that's right, it was soccer or football, and it was originated there from England, from Galar, from where Scorbunny is from. That's right, we could have Scorbunny, we could have Snivy, and we could have Piplup instead of the Torchic run. These could possibly be the three starters that we see in Pokemon Legends ZA inside this Kalos region, inside Lumio City. That being said, Pokemon and Game Freak are going to do what they're going to do anyway, and they may give us three brand new starters, but I highly doubt that. However, I do want to make one honorable mention to something that I think may tie in if my thoughts are correct. Now, we know that there's Pokemon Legends ZA. We know that's the title now. We all know the Z stands for Zygarde, but what does the A mean? A lot of speculation as to it could have something to do with as and the ultimate weapon, which is where I'm going with this. I think that in order for us to tie in this third starter, we need to go to the ultimate weapon. We need to go to as. We need to think of what that A could stand for. So I'm going to Alola. And no, I don't think A stands for Alola. I think that the A stands for Aether Foundation. Now, if we have Litten come in as that third starter because of its popularity, because there is no mega evolution of it, I think that could tie in a Lola region to this. I think though, if we look back, we could tie in that Celesteela might be the ultimate weapon used by Az long ago. Its shape definitely looks like the ultimate weapon. It's long been speculated that it might have been the ultimate weapon. The A that we're looking at on Zygarde, or on Pokemon Legends ZA, does look a lot like the shape and color of Celesteela. Celesteela is an Ultra Beast, and the Ultra Beasts use the Ultra Wormholes to go to Ultra Space through the Aether Foundation. Now, I think that we could also tap into this and think that we could use the Ultra Wormholes to go through space and time, to go from the past to the future. We know that this game is based entirely in Lumio City, and that doesn't seem like a lot to base this Pokemon game off of based on Pokemon cities in the past. 
even when we do have a Pokemon city like Motostoke, they're still vast, but still very small compared to other games like as previously mentioned, like Grand Theft Auto. We don't have those big, big, big cities. Not yet, at least. So if we stick to kind of how Pokemon's been, and maybe we have an area the size of the wild area as a Pokemon city, as Lumio City, something that's that vast that we can venture through. Sure, it's quite large, but it's not what we're expecting. It's not going to be 20 to 30 hours of gameplay in one area. So in order to do that, we could go to the past and to the future utilizing these Ultra Wormholes, utilizing the ultimate weapon, utilizing Celesteela. Aether Foundation could be the A. It could be Legends Z, Zygarde, A, Aether Foundation. And these two could be in cahoots, working back and forth to try and go back to the past and forward to the future. The symbol that's featured a lot on this trailer shows going in and out, shows two directions through what looks like a portal. And I think that that portal there is going to be the Ultra Wormholes. I think that's what we're going to do is travel through the past and to the future using this exactly. Aether also means energy region of the universe beyond the terrestrial sphere, beyond the physical realm, beyond where we are, beyond that time. Now, if we can use this ultra wormhole to go back and forth to the future, then maybe this is the key to the game. Even though it's very early on and we just got the first trailer released with absolutely no gameplay footage whatsoever released into it, these are lots of speculations that have been floating around and lots of things that you can pick out from that video there. Are we in the future? Are we in the past? Are we just gonna stay in this one city? What starters are we gonna get? What does the Z and A mean? Z obviously means Zygarde, as we just covered. But what are we going to find out about this in the next coming months before this game releases next year? Will this game release early next year? Will it release at the end of next year? Will it release on Nintendo Switch 2? We're gonna find all that out in the next coming months, but please let me know down below in the comments what you think we're going to see in Pokemon Legends ZA, and if you're excited for it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, and let me know what you think of this video. Thanks a lot for all your time, and have a great day. Bye!